Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more The Suffering. When we last left off, we just shot this big fella in the face quite a few times. And um, yeah, that was a thing. Also, uh, we're descending deeper, deeper underground. So, let's shake a leg, shall we? Now, can we actually smash this stuff? Haven't played this game um, for quite a while. So, let's go take our iron bar out. We can smash this stuff. Alright, not sure if there's anything actually in there. This thing literally is like a massive steel girder. Evening! Ah, oh, hello. It's these fellas. These fellas that look like something out of Silent Hill. I can't remember their name, actually. But I haven't played this game for a little while. Yeah! Can we block? I don't think so. Come here, sir. Allow me to introduce you to my massive steel girder. Um, this game is also deafening me in my headset, which, uh, you know, I suppose it adds to the effect. Right, hopefully sound and everything is fine. Um, I have upgraded my computer and installed Windows 11, so I've had to rejig everything. So I hope everything's okay. Ooh. The hell's that? Looks like a uh, saw. Wonder if we can get somebody to fall into the saw. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, um, when reinstalling OBS, I forgot that I had to. Ooh. Sort out my noise gate. And my noise compressor all over again, which was fun. Yep, okay, he's active. I was not sure if he was just having a bit of a walk around. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Can we just... Ooh, his head fell off. No. No. No, he didn't just die like that. All right, well, I guess this shiv. Oh, hello. Hello. It's better than I thought. Obviously, you do leave yourself open to attack. Oof. Mine's bigger than yours, sir. Although you have two. Ooh. <laughs> See the way <laughs> he just scurried off. Had a little bit of a walk. You right there, fella? <laughs> that was so funny. Ooh. Did he just fall over and die? I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. We've got big lads that die in a few hits from this massive steel girder that I'm wheeling. We've got little scurriers that just seem to die. Oh, we're actually full up on ammo. Yes, flashlight batteries. Flash bang! What? Oh, you dark in there. Is that right, son? Well, there we go. Now, which foul creature of the night was making that noise? No, I don't want to see it. No. Wait. Daddy, no. The cheese and biscuits was that? It's like a load of police officers beating the shit out of some kid. I mean, I'm not the world's biggest fan of children, but come on, it's a bit much, don't you think? Alright, whatever. We can go through here. Blood leaking from the pipes. Probably not a great thing. It hits me like trying to conserve ammo, but... I don't think there's a much point in conserving ammo because it, it's literally everywhere. Oh. I can hear what... What the hell is that? Can we duck somehow? Oh shit, I didn't actually want to do that. Right, can we... 
I guess we can't actually crouch and duck that. Can we? I don't think we can move that either. Ooh. All right. Can we smash this? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's quite a cool effect. Um. Well, the fact that our shiv kind of goes through it, probably a good indicator that we can't. I can't believe we can't grab that, though. That really obviously looks like something that we should be able to grab. Uh, throw, attack, turn, pitch. No. Nope. I guess there is no duck. Alright, that's a cool game. That's cool. Let's let's carry on. Let's try and oh. Okay. Some more bullets. My soul left me alone in here. Your soul. Well, maybe you shouldn't have left your soul alone. Maybe. So, we've got a few choices here. Oh, hello. Come to Papa Talk. Oh, God. Okay, this one's... Oh, God. Careful. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, there, big fella. Let's see if we can't stab you a few times. Oh, what the cheese and biscuits is that? My god, really? Just like that, huh? Right, let's start moving. Let's start blasting everything we can. Yeah, right, son. I'll get to... Oh, he's had enough. I'll get to you all, one at a time, with my massive 357. I don't know who you think you're intimidating by dragging your blade on the floor there, sir. But it ain't daddy talk. Evening! And me shoot you in the face several times. That worked. Plenty of flashlights. Ooh! Okay, more batteries than we can shake a stick at, which I guess is always nice, you know. I am getting a little bit overwhelmed though, because we seem to be explore. Ah, oh, hello. Seem to be exploring a lot. I'm not hundred percent sure. Good for you, friend. Which way we're supposed to be going. Now, now. Then they should put you back in the hole, then. Licking the walls, perhaps. Interesting. Definitely some nasty people locked up here. Yeah, I'm guessing... Yeah, so that door... And that's blocked. So that door must be the one that's locked up. Alright. So, we've got... This way. Do any of these open? Doesn't look like it. Does that open? Probably not. Seems to be some random cell on the floor. <sighs> Definitely need some more pills. Targets. I guess we don't get any points for that. Alright. Onwards. Look at all these flashbangs. Like hundreds of thousands of flashbangs. We can hold eight. 
flashbang grenade. Right, okay, so we can have a handgun. I, whoa, so like all of these items just like get sucked into us. So I guess we can have like a standard uh, weapon and we can have something that we can throw as well equipped on the other trigger. Alright, that's fine. Makes uh, a little bit more tactical sense. Can we grab... We, oh, right. Ah. That's interesting. Can't do anything to any of that stuff. Alright, let's go around the other side. And see if we can't shove this out of the way. Although, I'm not sure why we'd want to shove this out of the way. I guess it's just going to open this other door up for us. Which I guess has its own unique advantages. Yep, I mean that links these two together. So that leaves us one way to go. My phone is going absolutely bonkers. So we can actually destroy that. Not sure if flashbangs can actually destroy things. I'm sure we're going to find out. Alright, talk. Let's get this uh, board down. Ooh, hello. Would you look at that? That's really disturbing. That little girl wasn't so innocent after he was done. Yeah, let's not think about that too much. Hmm. There's another guy in there. Alright, well, I'm guessing. Don't mind me. <clears throat> I've just been a jackass. So, there's a crank here. Somehow... Didn't manage to see that. Right, uh, so, to crank a crank. Ah, we push up. What the cheese and biscuits is that about? I guess that... Oh. What? But, sir... <laughs> but, sir... Okay... Well, that was random. Oh, Jesus. I am God here. You will follow my orders. Man, that was some weird voodoo that went on down here, wasn't there? Oh, we got a flashlight. Tommy gun ammo. What? And an official document. We've got Tommy gun ammo? Can we have, like, a Tommy gun as well, please? Please? Ask really nicely. Did we grab it? Oh, shit. I keep doing that. Stop changing into a mutant, you bastard. Right. No, we don't have the uh, Tommy gun. So. I guess there ain't anything through there. Alright. You're doing well, Doc. But watch yourself. This place can eat your soul. Eat my soul. I don't know who that guy is. Oh, we do have uh, the map. I forgot about that. Sub basement. Guess that's where we are. What a nice look. Oh, rats. These rats gonna actually attack us? No, I guess not. Uh, we don't want to upset the rats. This game actually runs quite nicely, though. To be fair, TNT. Probably don't want to be fucking with the TNT. To be fair. Keep going up. Oh! oh. I got a Tommy gun. 
All right. I was not expecting to get a fully automatic this kind of early. Um, cool. Anyway, we picked up some lore, I believe. Clem's notebook. Wasn't one of Clem's, was it? Abbott State uh, Originally built as part of Fort Malison to house German POWs during World this War Two, it was taken over by Maryland following the war and converted into Abbott State Penitentiary. Mostly built out of local quarry rock, the prison is now home to nearly 1,000 inmates and has the worst safety record and highest homicide. Yeah, we heard that one. The Death House. The most ominous structure inside of Abbott is... Pretty sure we... Oh, maybe it is the Death House. Maybe that's the new one. The Death House. The most ominous structure inside of Abbott is the Death House. Electrocution, gas, and lethal injection have all been used within its walls, though only the last is still used today. The Death House is also the prison's oldest structure, built as the administration building when the prison was a POW camp. Its basement was also built during the war, and in it, you can still see relics of that time. The basement has been closed off for 20 years. Hang on, we've read that, haven't we? Uh, urgent note, photo. Ah, there's that's what we're looking for. Official document. <laughs> what the fuck, mummy? He's fuck him. So there's a guy sticking a gun up some dude's ass, blowing his brains out. Department of the Army, Fort uh, Maid, Maryland. August 7th, 1944, from Commanding Officer, yeah, Colonel Bullshit Cocksucker. All right, subject, Court Martial Proceedings. This letter serves to inform you that you are required to appear at a Court Martial to be held at Fort um, Mead. Mede? Uh, yeah, this is in regards to the charges against you of unlawful execution and other misconduct at Fort Nelson. Alright, well, we can't read the rest of it. Cool. Yep, unlawful discharge. People getting executed. Standard. So, oh, we can press X to slide down the ladder. So that's something. Slumber of the dead. When you compare... Ki okay. Um, is it me, or...? I was like the aspect ratio changed. No, it's fine. Do we have a torch on? Because this is, yeah, we do. This is proper dark. Until we get up to a wall and then it, everything gets like really clearly illuminated. So this place had some history, huh? It's a pretty serious history. Ooh. Guess somebody was executing their own men. North Yard. Alright. Ooh. When performing a lethal injection, it is essential that the needles be placed with absolute precision. And Oof. standard medical procedures, with a lethal injection, you have a patient who probably does not want the procedure to occur. Therefore, it is of vital importance that the restraints be tight and strong. <laughs> Even with that trouble may arise, and it may be incumbent upon the practitioner to take matters into his own hands, using whatever sharp-bladed objects he may have on his person. <laughs> Lacerations to the body at strategic locations may put the patient into a state of shock making him far more pliable, or at the very least, causing him to bleed to death, thus achieving the desired end. And who are we kidding? We are not really trying to be humane anyway. <laughs> Class dismissed. Well, I mean, at least there's a... Yeah, that dude was speaking some sort of truth. Um, if you actually look into the lethal injection, it's not actually that humane. And I've got a cat behind my PC monitor now. Yeah, it's actually pretty nasty. Um, excuse me, cat. 
All right. Yeah, so after sorting out my cat. Hey, oh. Is anybody in there? Hello. Uh, hello. Ah, oh, hello. Man, it's good to see another human. Uh. Hey, what the fuck? Tor, is that you? Fuck, man. It's me, Dallas from Easton. Man, if anybody could survive this shit, it figures you could. You seen some of these things, man? Fucking whack shit. I heard the government's been conducting experiments on us inmates. Next phase of MK Ultra, if you can believe that shit. <laughs> now it's turned into the mother of all cluster fucks. He needs your protection. He's a parasite. Uh. It looks like there's no way out in here. Come on, man. Follow me. We gotta try to get to the outside. Yeah, well. Apparently, this guy's a buddy. So, I think we're gonna help him as much as we can for now. Since. Yeah, uh, I'm kind of glad, to be honest, that I didn't go for this stuff. Just saying. Um, Holy shit, don't really need to be getting jacked up. Right, stay away from my buddy. Oh, my buddy's got a gun. That's good to know. Now, these guys, we know, aren't that bad. Although, ow, that hurt. So they kind of do like a broadside type deal. Whoa. And they also kind of just stand there and blast the shit out of you as well. You still alive there, friend? <laughs> you good there, brother? Um, that was bad for a while. I thought you were chunks. Yeah, I don't think this has anything to do with MK Ultra. I uh, could be wrong, obviously. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. We're busting out. We're busting out, and the cat is on my bloody computer again. <sighs> Trouble is, when he jumps up, he has turned my computer off before. All right, let's go. Ooh, more pills. See, this is the stuff. This is the stuff that you should have been on, friend. Okay. Right, yeah, well. Whilst you try and bust out, I'm going to try and save us. Now, the thing about these guys is they're nowhere near as tough as they look. As long as they don't kill my buddy. And if he did tell us his name, I've forgotten it. Man. We need to kind of up our firepower, I think. Oh, dude, look at this guy. Another revolver? We've already got a revolver. Jewel revolvers! Seriously? I mean, okay. Cool. Whoa, he's not dead. You alright there, brother? You good? I think we won, for now. Alright. So, what? Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh my god, this is stupid. Stupid in the best possible way. Come at me, fool. Ooh. I like that. I'm a fan of the flashbangs. I'm guessing we're probably not going to get a huge amount of them, though. Come on, you dickbags. Let's do this. Ooh. Oh, that's good. That's so good. How did I never play this game back in the day? We're not even tearing through our ammo that quickly. Not bad. Oh, I hear some more. Hello, friend. Yeah, it's always that they're a government, isn't it? Never trust the government. Well... <laughs> yeah, bust out. Yeah. Definitely means just escaping. 
Okay. Hey, we've got some more revolver ammo. That's cool. Let's get the flock out of here. At least our friend's not dying. Uh... Where's the next lad? Uh, whoops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aha. I'm coming. I'm coming. I know. I want to bust as much as the next guy. There is so many flares and just general equipment everywhere. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, all right. You don't need to shout it in my face. I'm literally right here with you. Also, this jewel... Look, I'm here! Alright. Well, I ain't afraid of no beastie, because I got two fucking handguns. And that thing is insane. Abbott Prism Blues. And we're on half an hour now. Talk, man. We gotta watch out. Those fucking cutters are everywhere in here. But this is the only way to go, man. If we gonna bounce up out of this shithole. Alright, well, we will, but that's going to have to be in the next episode, guys. I am loving this. Dude, like, I don't know how I missed out on this game when I was younger. I would have been all over this. It's not really horror either. It's just like a straight-up shooter. Just blasting all of these guys. Like, these things really should be afraid of you, not the other way around. Maybe that changes as we get further into the game. And I have no idea who this guy is, but apparently he's our old friend. And one of his old friends has been jabbed to death with needles, which is rather unfortunate for the fella, you understand. But, you know, <sighs> prison life is a harsh mistress, I suppose. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.